morning. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. First and foremost, I kind of hate saying what I eat today because I think you guys know this by now, every single day is different, every day changes. Sometimes I don't get the opportunity to make and cook every single meal at home, more so just meal inspiration. I want to show you guys what I'm eating for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, just to give you guys some ideas on how to eat uh, healthy but deliciously and creatively. I know during the new year time, like it is still early in 2023, you guys can see a lot on social media, a lot online, and it can be very complicated and overwhelming to see all the things that you need to do to make yourself healthy. So I wanna simplify it for you guys. Whole Foods Market has better for you swaps, which is key if you, you know, like me, say you love pizza. They have like the best like cauliflower crust pizza. You guys can jumpstart your January in a simplified way. Before you head out to your grocery store, number one, make a list. Number two, don't forget your reusable grocery bag. That is one of my 2023 New Year's resolutions too, is like not forgetting a reusable grocery bag um, to help the environment. Let's go grocery shopping. It is time to find quality ingredients to make my meals for the day. I wore these slippers and it was raining outside. I really don't know why I wore my slippers outside of the house. That was a really dumb decision. Um, but I started shopping and right away I found this extra firm tofu. I'm gonna actually make that for lunch, I think. Look how colorful this is. I just love seeing the colors of the rainbow um, while I grocery shop. And then I think I'm gonna make that salad for lunch. The sweet potatoes looking so hearty. They always have the best avocados, such high quality avocados. Going to make some kale tonight for dinner for nutrients. They have the best meats, and I like to cook with avocado oil. I ran out, so I'm going to buy that. Pasture-raised eggs always. They have the best snacks. When I come to the grocery store hungry, this is my aisle, baby. Obsessed with lesser evil. Ooh, just the best night snack. Like literally walking by the wine aisle. Skip, skip, skip. Why not shop at a store that also has your favorite supplements? Oh, look at this probiotic section. So grocery shopping done, and first things first, I'm making breakfast. I'm making just eggs and hash browns. Here's how I'm making my hash browns. I know there's a better way to do it, but this is very easy. This is a lazy way to make hash browns. I know you're supposed to like soak them and like take out the excess water, but like you really don't. They still turn out amazing. They are so freaking good with a crispy like this. I'm just using the same pan. Here are my hash browns. They are absolutely phenomenal my eggs. Daily habit that I have been trying to incorporate every day is drinking lemon water. But at the same time, a lemon can really, really hurt your teeth. So my tip is to actually get a reusable straw. I love these little covers that go over them. And also because my boyfriend drinks lemon water, we're both doing it right now. Um, you could tell which is whose. Mine's the pink and it's very washable. So if you're going to drink lemon water every day like me, make sure to benefit your teeth and try out a straw. I'm gonna make a lunch under 10 minutes using everything I just got from Whole Foods Market. First and foremost, I'm doing the avocado oil for the tofu and avocado, and then the Asian-inspired salad kit. Super easy, literally minimal ingredients needed. So I'm actually going to crisp up my tofu in my air fryer, makes it so fast. I love getting the extra firm tofu from Whole Foods just because I'm still not an expert on how to cook tofu, and so it's already extra firm. Um, which is key to making tofu actually crispy and taste good. I'll say I've been eating a lot less meat. I still eat meat, obviously. I just bought chicken and I'll cook a recipe with it later. But sometimes when I know I'm having a meat heavier dinner or, you know, been eating, I ate a lot of meat yesterday, I wanna like cut back just a little bit. And so I'm tossing in this tofu and then I'm just gonna press the tofu down just a little bit more to make sure the excess water is out. And as I press this tofu, I wanna say, Number one, you can always start. You don't need a new year to start anything. Number two, start small. My biggest thing is starting small so you can always progress. And I think progression is key. It's also key to progress to be proud of yourself and feel like you're accomplishing something. And I think in especially with like a health and wellness journey to feel satisfied and feel good about yourself and keeping the promises to yourself is really, really important. So don't put too much pressure on yourself and try out new things, try out new recipes, and try out new workouts and have fun with it because if you're not having fun with it, it's not gonna be consistent. 
You guys can skip this stuff because the salad has toasted sesame dressing, but I'm just using some extra teriyaki sauce right there um, from Whole Foods Market, tossing it in the tofu, mixing it on up, spray the bottom of the air fryer with this avocado oil, toss it in. Perfect. I'm just using the same bowl. I'm gonna toss this Asian inspired salad. I'm not gonna do all of it because I feel like this feeds like two people. Green cabbage, carrots, celery, cilantro, green onions, and then in here it's crispy wontons and almonds for that good crunch. This is one of my favorite dressings, you guys. It's so freaking good. Oh my gosh. All right, so I did seven minutes at 400 actually, and you guys can wait to put it in your salad if you guys don't like, you know, like hot and cold mixing, but honestly, I don't care at all. I actually kind of like it. I'm kind of a weirdo. So I'm just tossing in the crispy tofu, adding avocado, not doing this in a very cute way. <laughs> Here she is, just squeezing in the avocado. Don't worry, my hands are clean. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little extra sesame seeds. Restaurant style. Go away. I think one of the biggest ways to stay consistent about healthy eating is finding efficiency in your meals, especially if you are a busy person on the go or you find yourself eating out a lot or doing takeout. I want you guys to know it is simplified and efficient to eat healthy as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, I want my mom to taste how good this is. Okay, thank you, buddy. Oh my god, are you kidding me? It is so good. So mm. fresh. One more bite. So good. So I do have a lot of makeup on right now and I just wanted to preface this. I had to do, actually I was on the news this morning. Um, I shouldn't download that. I was on the news this morning. So if I look different <laughs> as the video progresses, oh, ow, my makeup is coming off. I just tried to take off my real lash. Just so much better. I love to snack on dates. Frickin' embarrassed. Dates are actually a huge staple that I keep in my refrigerator, like all times. I know you don't have to keep them in the refrigerator, I just like them cold. I snack on them throughout the day to help curb my sweet tooth. Great for dessert at night. Mm. Okay, now I'm going to make a really easy dinner. I need this kale to make dinner. And using my sweet potatoes. Look who's home. <laughs> okay, now I'm just going to, I know, I just had to film this really fast. I'm just going to fork the potatoes and then put them in the microwave. I took the chicken I bought today, I boiled it, I shredded it into um, nice pieces like this. Then I shredded some carrots too. Right now I am sauteing some chicken, shredded carrots, and the kale that I got today as well. I'm actually going to toss in some buffalo sauce. Mix that up. Made the sweet potatoes in the microwave, which was so easy. Then stuffed the sweet potatoes with that kale, chicken, and carrot mix that was also mixed in with some buffalo sauce. And then I'm going to melt this cheese on top. Look how good this is looking, by the way. I feel like it's a very hearty meal. Then I'm going to top with some ranch and green onion. All right, final version. Oh my gosh, you guys. Are you kidding me? I feel like, oh, I look so bad. I feel like this was kind of a random dinner, but whenever I find like I am struggling for creativity, I always, <laughs> it sounds so weird. I always think of stuffing something. <laughs> he doesn't find it funny. A stuffed sweet potato was just so easy and I feel like it just levels up any meal and it's so hearty and so healthy. So like what I love to do is just like throw anything together in a saute pan, any type of, dr of sauce or dressing, throw it with some rice or stuffed in a sweet potato. Boom, look how freaking good this looks. I totally forgot to finish that vlog. I kind of like enjoyed the rest of my night and this is why I need to be better at vlogging. But basically I just had to end the night like two dates and a little bit of dark chocolate for dessert. Um, but yeah, that's it. It's the next morning now. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like, comment. Thank you to Whole Foods Market for sponsoring this video. Go shop there. Go get some high quality ingredients. Mwah. Love you guys.